BMS or balancing board at first. What is BMS? BMS is battery management system. So this is like brain of battery pack. It keeps voltage and current on safe to Z values. Like this one is for 10S battery, so 36 volts. If you will start charge your battery pack and if the voltage will be over 42, 43 volts, then power input, so charging ports, will be disconnected to don't overcharge battery pack. The same if the voltage will drop under 25 volts, the power output will be disconnected to extend lifespan of battery pack. So in many cases, this one is like must have. Over here, you can see current. So this BMS can handle 16 amps in constant, but in peak could be over 50 amps. So this tiny box could be great for some extra battery pack for Xiaomi F365. Also, if you will do any short circuit like something like this, then also power output will be disconnected. So this one can handle 16 amps in constant, but over here I've got some really big BMS from DALI, which can handle 120 amps in constant, but in peak can be over 500 amps, but you can see the difference in size and also in the weight. Some good quality BMSs like CLRD or DALI got temperature probe. So if battery will be too hot, then also power output will be disconnected to don't overheat battery pack. And here we got balancing ports. The story is that many BMSs got balancing ports, but not many got them really working. Actually, this company and Delhi got them really working because balancing port is to connect every single series of cells to BMS and to be sure that every single series of cells is at the same voltage. And some cheaper ones, they don't have this feature, so one of cells can be at 4 volts, other one at 3 volts, and this really damaging battery pack. Like this one, this is some super cheaper one, but actually if you will fully charge battery pack, then balancing will be active, but you have to fully charged battery pack with those companies, CRD and Delhi, balancing port is working all the time. So I recommend those two companies. Next one is Smart BMS. Those are not very cheap, but they've got some decent features. Like Delhi, over here you can see that it can handle in constant 60 amps, but if you will connect this one to your smartphone, you can choose like 15 amps on the output. So if you would like to don't burn some controller or the motor, this one could be quite useful because you can choose what will be the output current. Also, if you would like to extend lifespan of your battery pack, you can choose what will be the maximum or minimum voltage of that cell. So if you would like to extend lifespan, I recommend to set lowest voltage per cell to 3.2 volts and max around 4.2 zero five volts thanks to it you can extend lifespan even two or three times compared to regular from 2.5 volts to 4.2 so smart bmss are like super useful sometimes but yeah they are crazy expensive we've got many different ports but this is a different story we'll back to this dali in next episode because i will have to do review about those. So what is balancing board? It balances every single series of cells to be at the same voltage. And actually, this is my reason why I buying expensive BMSs to be sure that balancing feature is working all the time. So every single cell in my battery pack is at the same voltage. Thanks to it, I know that my battery pack will have best possible lifespan and I will have best possible power output. Next one is the size. As you can see, balancing board is super thin. So if you will, if you are making some project where is not enough space for big battery pack or there is not enough space for BMS, then balancing board, as you can see, is super thin and it will fit almost anywhere. Yeah, there is actually nothing to compare. Actually, I'm making my Xiaomi two wheel drive, and the battery pack is filling whole deck. I will be not even even able to fit something like this, especially that this is 16 amps. I will need something like 60 amps like this one, but this one is way too big. And in this case, I will have to use that kind of balancing board, which I recommend to use, because if you are know what you are doing, then this thing will save you lots of space. About the cons, first one is that there is nothing to control power output from the battery. In BMS, we've got MOSFETs, so if you will do short circuit, then BMS will disconnect power output. But over here, the battery will just melt. So you have to be careful when you are using just 
that kind of balancing boards but from the other hand you're saving lots of space and the weight also if you will use that kind of balancing boards you will have to use some let's say advanced controllers where you can set anti voltage like you are making battery pack 10s and you would like to use it in your scoot and if the voltage will drop under 25 volts like even 20 volts for 10s battery your battery pack will be seriously damaged but in something like vc you can set like the power output input actually will be disconnected if the voltage will drop let's say under 30 volts so it will like 3 volts per cell that's why i recommend to use that kind of tiny balancing boards with some advanced controllers where you can set end voltage the same about charging you have to be sure that you have charger with proper voltage output actually charger is simple power supply so if you will have 10s battery pack then you have to be sure that the on the output from the charger you will have 42 volts so now i think you know what is the difference between balancing board and bms if you would like to save lots of space and the weight then balancing board is like best way to go if you don't care about some some of those features and if you'd like to keep it safe then bms will be best way to go but for my most powerful projects i will use balancing board because I would like to build maybe in next month some powerful e-bike which needs over 200 amps and BMS will be even bigger than this one so it will look like some part of battery pack is also quite heavy and if I would like to save some space and the weight then I will go with something like this battery equalizer actually this is simple balancing but this one is a little bit more powerful because it can balance at 2 amps per cell so this is quite high current and this one can work even with 24s battery pack so yeah this is some high quality one so yeah if you have any questions just leave it in comment section i will back to you and try to help see you in next one bros